Divas. Nicholas. Nicholas, where are you? Right here, my lord. The time for my son to be born on earth is drawing near. Is everything ready? Yes, Lord. For the choir of archangels is ready to sing the Gloria. Michael is ready to give his message to the world and the star, oh the star. It's all fired up and ready to go, so I would have to say everything's under control. Excellent. There is one more thing that must be done. What is that, Lord? See that man down there on earth. You mean him, Chris Kringle? Yes. I want to go down to the earth and tell him. My helper to spread peace and love throughout the world, and tell him that he must first visit the birthplace of my son. Pardon me. Sir, but Kringle, isn't there someone else you'd rather have? How about one of your prophets? They're not doing anything at the moment. It must be him. But he isn't exactly fond of you, you know. Nicholas. All right, I'm going. You don't have to get excited, for God's sake. Nicholas. I'm going. I'm going. suitable attire. Are you Chris Kringle? 
Yes, what do you want? My name is Nicholas, and I was sent to give you a message of the highest importance. Highest importance? <laughs> Just how high are we talking? Oh, real high, higher than King Herod himself. Well, if it's that high, I guess we had better hear it. And then you can be on your way, for I've much better things to do than to sit around and chit-chatting all day. You are to visit the birthplace of the newborn king tonight. It will be there that you will become a messenger of love and peace for all. Is this some sort of joke? No, it's not. Well, sir, someone is playing a cruel trick on you. Herod isn't even married. How could he have a son? Not Herod's son. I'm talking about the Son of God. Listen, I'm an old man, and I do not appreciate pranks and jokes at my age. Tell me, who sent you? God! God, huh? What are you? One of those long-head preaching prophets or something? No, sir. I'm an angel. An angel? Well, where are your flowing robes? And what about your wings? Listen. Those are merely fables and figments of man's small imagination. For the archangels are the ones who have the wings. And you think I like being dressed like this? No way. I'm used to fine silk clothes and suits, not these Simple rags. Well, Mr. Angel, tell God that Mr. Kris Kringle would like nothing better than to stay at home tonight where he belongs. There's much better things to do than to go and see his son. But Mr. Kringle! But nothing! All my life I have worked so hard being the best that I could be. And at every turn I have been struck down by this God whom you so revere. Now some glorious angel bids me to go far from home, his son to see. No, I will not leave to try to please a God who's set against me. All the pain and all the heartache I faced, he has seen to give all to me. First my son who died, my hands and my wife, and you say that I should care. I will tell you that my cares are all here, with my wife who's dying in there. But if he stays true, he will take her too, so your God means nothing to me. All this horror, anguish, heartache, sorrow that he's freely given to me. All this hatred, anger, scorn and outrage that's been festering for years. Now I will freely give back to his holiness. Now you have my answer, sir. Leave me be. You can tell your God that I plan to stay home where I belong. And now, Mr. Angel, I want you gone from my home and off of my land. 
And if I see you come near here again, I'll send you to God myself.
Chris, what's wrong? Why are you crying? It's nothing, Cecilia. I think I may have gotten caught up into your dream. It got to me, that's all. Are you sure that's all it is? Yes, I'm sure, you foolish woman. Now stop worrying about your old fool of a husband and get some rest. Good night, my love. Good night. Is it this time? Kind sir, we are a group of shepherds passing through town. We were wondering if you could spare some food or drink of any kind. We've been traveling for miles. Anything that you could give us would be appreciated. Where are you headed? Why aren't you in some field tending your sheep? We were, but you see, this angel appeared and told us to follow the brightest star. There we shall see a gift brought from God for the world. Is everyone going crazy tonight? Listen. I'm not interested in your problems, so will you please? your son? No, sir. I've never seen him before. Neither have I. When we approached your house, he was already here. We presumed he was your son. Where are you from? I 
come from a faraway kingdom, sir. Where are your parents? I have no parents, sir. Well, then, what are you doing so far away from your kingdom? And what could you give a king? All that I have, my love and devotion forever. Thank you most kindly, sir, for your generous hospitality. Yes, we can't thank you enough. Well, you can thank me by just going on your way and leaving me be. I have an idea. Why don't we sing a song for him? Please, that is unnecessary. It is the very least we can do to repay your kindness. Well, if it will help you leave all the more sooner, go ahead. Come, hear the shepherd's tale, the lonely shepherd's tale about a lonely shepherd in the lonely desert night. Oftentimes the shepherd sobbing was heard in the daylight. His only loyal friend happened to be a lonely camel who had kept him company all through the year. Often he would sing a love song for the camel to hear. Throughout the winter nights, I always find you near. Through snow and rain and dust storm, you're always been near. You never have too much to say, but you I always count on. You keep me warm and I will keep you so close all through the eons. So many times I call you, you'd run like you had wings. For loyalty that's so true, for you this song I sing. And if tomorrow someone said, you're only good for blue, I turn to them and tell them how my love for you is true. For I really love you.
If he's a special, as you say, then perhaps he deserves something else as well as your love and devotion. Come here, and I'll show you what I mean. Ordinary piece of wood, but with a little patience it can be turned into anything you want it to be. Make a duck or a doll or a giant dinosaur or something no one else has ever seen before. With a dream or wish that you so desire, you can have whatever your heart requires. With some work and some time and ability to see, with some imagination on the part of thee. Think of what you want and you'll fill your heart with glee. It can be just anything you want to be. It can be just anything you want to be. Like a wagon. Or a dragon. Try a camel. Or an angel. Something stranger. Like a manger. Just as long as you have wished for it, your dream will live forever. So hold on to your dream and just never let them go. And hope that all your wishes stay true to your heart. You'll keep dreaming so. I'll keep dreaming so. You can be just anything you want to be. And never let them go And hope that all your wishes stay true to your heart You'll keep dreaming so And I'll keep on dreaming so You can be just anything you want to be You can be just anything you want to be Here, give this to your king stopped. The pain is finally gone. But why? Why now? It is the miracle of the Christ child. The one who was foretold that would free How do you know? I know. Boy, what is your name? Nicholas, sir. He's gone. He's just disappeared.
Kris Kringle. From this day forth, you shall be a symbol of peace, joy, and happiness. You will be my messenger of love, making a straight path for my son. You will bring joy into the hearts of all mankind, especially the children. You shall bear the name of my messenger, Nicholas. And from this day, you shall be known as Santa Claus. <laughs>